Floss Tube. This is Barb with Lost in Floss. Today's video is number 83 and it's November 23rd, 2022. Woohoo! Can't believe how how this year is almost over with already. It just has been flying by. But tomorrow is Thanksgiving and I had no intention of doing a video today, but it was quiet and I've been doing so many finishes that I, I made up for my lack of FF October. <laughs> so, and, and some of them um, completed series for me, so that's even more exciting. So I can't wait to show you everything that I've been working on. And the other thing is I did some major <laughs> shopping again, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't know if it's unfortunate or not, but... Um, so I will put that video at the end. And then the other thing is I have some uh, great finds from Save from the, uh, I don't know, Stop the Floss. No, Stop the Floss for other hobbies. Um, Save from the Trash. Yeah, I guess we'll go with that. First off, I wanted to say thank you. And I couldn't send the a thank you because I didn't have her address anymore, but got a really nice card from Kimberly. Um, she had won one of my giveaways and I thought this was so sweet. She included two charts. She's like, you know, if you want to stitch them or um, else use them for giveaways. This one's 1897 Schoolhouse Samplers in Orchard Invisible, Jenny Crompton. really sweet and the other one is my big toe remember me when this you see please think of me in heaven i'll be smiling down on thee um one of annie b's daughters was gonna stitch something similar and then like surround the cross stitch piece with like pictures of loved ones who had passed away. And I thought, oh, that's that's an awesome idea. So I might do something like that with that one. All right, so I'm in full Christmas mode, although you can see, like, I still have my follow. I was debating whether I should take it down, and then I thought, oh, it's just going to make a big mess. So I'll wait till the day after Thanksgiving, or maybe Saturday. I'll, I'll see what's up. And um, and then just go full onslaught into Christmas. Uh, another thing is I, last year I didn't have fall up. And so it was really easy to decorate early for Christmas because I had nothing to take down. So this will be more of a challenge because I have a lot of fall. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting all the fun things out. All right, so what have I been working on? Well, I almost got the front done of this Gingerbread Mittens Blackberry Lane Designs. Look how cute those little guys are. And this is stitched on 28 count, uh, picture this plus Phoenix. It is as bright a red as you can get. Oops, <laughs> I don't wanna like not show it. So, really cute. And um, I think I am going to stitch the back, even though that's a lot of stitching. I feel like, I don't know, like I don't need to have it done this year. So if I want to stitch the back, I should just go ahead and do it. I have been working enough on um, Christmas Garden. This is from the Home from the Holiday book by Blackbird Design. And so many people have stitched it. This is the piece that Leanne did the bottom half and I'm doing the top half. Mm, let's see, I don't have a big enough I'm really hoping I have a um, 
ornate like antique frame that I just have a um a print of a Santa like an antique Santa in right now and I'm hoping that will be the right size for this but I've really gotten a couple of the motifs on the top done. I worked more on this side lately. And so, I don't know. It probably won't be done this year. But I am making progress. And it's on 32 count, I believe, antique white cream. Um, so it's really easy stitching, like really easy. So it's kind of my late at night go-to when I can't look at the little counts anymore. Well, in little, I'm talking 36. That's kind of my go-to. Although I bought some 40 counts, so I'm kind of anxious to give that a try because I was having problems with 1999 Christmas Sampler by Carriage House Samplings. And I, I'll have to, I say this every time, but I can't remember what, what I'm stitching this on. But I did get some of the, the red color in and I just love how that pops. So, the other night I was stitching on it at nighttime. I'm like, oh, I can do this. So this too, um, you know, the trees are fairly easy because it's not, it's a lot of repetitive, but I'm not sure that I'll get it done this year. And I hope it turns out square because I, I do have some Oh yeah, it's 88 by 86, so excellent. Um, easier to find like square frames. I don't know. It seems like a lot of things don't fit in eight by tens. That should be a rule, designers. <laughs> Especially on the count that I stitch on. That would be so nice if you guys uh, did that. Um, then, I, I taken a new approach with my prairie schooler Santas. Um, from now on, if I go somewhere, like on a trip or just a little weekend, I'm gonna start one, even if I'm not done with the other one. So um, I took a trip with my siblings to Providence to visit a great niece. And um, I thought, oh, that's going to be a perfect time to start one. And so I started the 2006 Santa, the sewing one. And it's a tiny, tiny little start. But I'll always remember that that's where I started it. And I'm writing those kinds of things in this cute little book I got from Lori, Textilist. I should leave this out for Christmas. It's so pretty. I, I, this is just the vintage type Santa is just right up my alley. And then I found this thing. I should really get this out because I shoved it in the same bag. I don't think I've worked on it this year, but there's these cute little ornaments and they're just mostly tone on tone. This is White Christmas. Who's this by? The Little Stitcher. The Colors of Christmas. And I think I have, hmm. I'm stitching this on 36 count Prairie, Prairie Grass by Seraphim. And I have the skate part done. I should really finish this. <laughs> I should really finish this. Yeah, I think I will. And then I'll start the other ones. <laughs> They're all really cute. I have made progress on this Happy Morning by Plum Street Sampler. 
So, oh my gosh, this happy morning. I'm doing the light version. Stitching this on 36 count fox and rabbit hog bristle. And I got the roof done and I was pleased to learn, I thought I had lost the page that came under those, the third set of windows at the bottom, but that's where it ends. So I'm like, oh, cool. So really I have the worst part of the little barn, barn house done. I don't know. Is it a barn? No, it's, it's a house, isn't it? And, um, well, I'll talk about this later, but I was at Country Sampler. Oh my gosh. It's a wonderful life. That pin cushion. Well, it's not Plum Street. It's Stacy Nash, but oh my gosh. I, if I could get my hands on that thing right now, I don't know. I would stitch it immediately. I just, I love it so much. Um, my brother and his eldest daughter and his wife last year went to like, there was a celebration of It's Wonderful Life, like out east somewhere. And it was like, they had some of the descendants of the characters and like all these themed things. And my niece is really into it. And um, she's like in her twenties, which I think is wonderful. And well, not that she's in her 20s, but that she's in just like a classic like that, I should say. <laughs> but anyways, um, I'm like, oh, if I could stitch that for her, I I would love to. But um, I guess I'll just be patient unless anyone's done and would like to sell it. Let me know. Send me a message. Okay, well, anyways, that's how far I am on Plum Street. And um, I'm thrilled that I'm... Making some progress. It definitely won't be done this year, but that's okay. Because the one thing that does need to be done is the Dimensions Gold Santa's Flight stocking. And look at guys, I have a name on it. And I'm doing some of the Santa has a real face. I started on some of the back stitching. It's just amazing how it starts to pop the, the more and more of the details you get in. I still have some, some spaces with those reindeer that I need to fill in, but I decided I needed to add the details on the lower ones where I had all the stitching done so that I wouldn't get confused with where I was on the other ones. So I did use a different font. I wasn't, because you had to fill in the red, I wasn't really thrilled. You know, there, there was a lot of, maybe I wasn't, no, you were supposed to use red. You're supposed to outline in gold. Um, but I, I thought that it needed to be broken up a little bit more. So I used the font from, one of the other stockings and if you comment that the lettering looks bad i needed to pull that one thing out one of the letters so i will i will fix that <laughs> before i'm done but i just i love how santa like look at how he the attention like he's just comes alive the other thing i want to do on some of the well all all three of the other ones i sold sold <laughs> sewed a, a a few gold metallic -y beads on just as accents so i'm thinking i will do that on here like maybe i don't know i might i gotta look at the other ones well i probably will put it on at the top where that line is I think that's how some of the other ones are. And then a few on like the reindeer where the sleigh bells are. And maybe somewhere if I can work them in on the sleigh without it being overload, it will work out. But 
I am thrilled that I'm as far as I am. I've been working on this like pretty much every night. And so I have high hopes that it will be done in, um, well, before Christmas. I doubt that it'll be done for St. Nick, but before Christmas, that's my goal. And then I had one FO. Um, this is Frosty's Night Out by Blackbird Design. Cute little guy. And I'm going to make this into a drum. This is picture this plus 36 count Valor. And I did buy some fabric. Um, and I show, I'll show what I bought at the end. So that way, if you don't want to watch, you don't have to. Um, but yeah, I, um, I bought some fabric to make a drum out of this. And really, try making a drum. Go to Vanna's tutorial. It's, uh, honestly, I was always so afraid of it. And really, it it's not hard at all. So, people, that brings us to finishing. I have 12 things I finished since my last video. 12, 10, and 2. Well, you can count, right? <laughs> um, but one piece was the piece that I did for my friend Anne, and I already gave it to her. It was a piece that her mom stitched and she wanted to have in her house. And so I will include a picture of it here so you can see it. And I've got a bunch of other things to show you. And two of the things are things that ended a series for me. So two series ended and, well, one, I had stitched the series last year, the word plays, but I had one that I had left to fully finish. And so I will show you that now, December. So I put mine on this little bench and I probably talked about last year what colors I changed in this, but I just, I wanted some nothing fabric so that it popped. And I'm not sure, I might change these check, check ribbons on it, but for now it's considered done and that means the series is totally stitched and totally complete. So that was really thrilling for me. Uh, another thing that I completed, and I need to get back to these in fuller force, um, the Prairie Schooler monthly series. And this is January. And I have it on this cute little box. So I think maybe I'm done with, I've, I've really kind of let these slide lately. So I think maybe I'm done with six now. I had finished stitching this one last year, but I had never fully finished it. So I'm thrilled that I'll be able to hang that up in January. I can put this back up on the wall because I have December's done. So that'll be kind of nice. All right, so that's two. Um, no, that's three. Leanne had stitched this Quaker sewing box or sewing tray by Brenda Gervais. And I just rustically finished the box as Brenda had indicated and then I just put a little trim around it and I think it's it's really sweet so I'm toying with the idea of gifting this to another mutual friend of ours 
Oh, I know she would really value having having this from Leanne. But we'll see. I might just keep it too. Who knows? I, I feel like, you know, you get so much and sometimes it's nice to share things with other people who don't stitch that, um, you know, would appreciate it. My tattered copy of the Prairie School or Prairie Year. So I finally finished this series. I had November and December. Um, oh yeah, I, I had promised that I would let you know the colors I used for some of the other months. So I'm gonna, I'll probably insert that at some point. Um, but this is November. And I put little lady dot pom-poms on and I just had this fabric. And then this one is December. And um, just use some fabric I had. And this, this trim, because it's so tiny, I didn't want anything too overwhelming. But this is the part that I cut off the pom-pom. So if you do that with the lady dot pom-poms, you might want to save it and just use it as a little finishing trim. If you guys are interested, I was thinking, I don't know if I'll do it before Christmas, but um, let's see, I think I have four or five series complete of various stitches. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to show them all together. So I might do that um, if there's interest in that. I think it'd be kind of fun because I didn't, especially the prairie year, I just, I, I changed the colors and I didn't finish them all the same. So they're really all over the place. So um, yeah, I think it would be kind of fun. So I might do that, we'll see. Okay, then you probably have seen this piece in the background. This was stitched by Leanne. And it's Little House Needleworks uh, Winter Plaid. I think she, she stitched it on 30 count portobello. And this is just a really cheap frame, but I was looking at it and I couldn't decide. So I text a friend, Lisa, and I'm like, what color? And she's like, red. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I didn't think of red. But I love this one because it's not strictly Christmas. It's winter. So, and, and not perfect, but... I'm, this one I pinned and I kind of like pinning, as I said in the beginning, it, it seems to go much faster than lacing. So, and, and easier to get a straight line now that I'm, you know, maybe not the border, the border line that goes all around, but yeah, I, I think this is really cute. So really, really happy with it. Okay, so what do you want to see next? My prairie school or ornaments, perhaps? So as many of you know, I stitched them on 24 count vintage country mocha and one using mostly called for DMCs with um, the only one that I didn't use, I used white instead of acru, 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 acru. Why, why, I don't know why I am having a problem with that. Um, but aren't these, if I do say so myself, and I will, I, this is just what I envisioned. 
like look at these little guys. I found the perfect fabric. I didn't want anything too, wipe off a little glue on the back, but I didn't want anything too like in your face Christmassy and I wanted something more to scale. So I found that at Country Sampler. And then I had this little ribbon trim in my stash as these rusty jingle bells. And I made cording with the same red that the guy is stitched in. And um, yeah, I just love it. I left off, there was like, I don't know, a second part where it says Dear Santa up there. There was something else sticking out. And I'm like, I didn't know what it was. I mean, it said like toys and dolls. I don't know if it's supposed to be like somebody's letter, but I didn't like it. So I just left it off. And I was trying to, instead of Dear Santa, I was trying to fit my grandkids' names in there. And they're not overly long, but it just didn't work out. So I'm like, well, I'll just do it like, like the rest. So this one is 2012. And what I did was I put that year on bigger. And then you can see between his boots, I just wrote the year that I actually stitched it. Because I think it'll be nice to know like what year these are. Then I have 2020 North Wind. And then Winter Woods is 2021. with the fox and then arctic lights is this year's 2022 and i changed the light bulb colors to look like the old-fashioned light bulbs now the one thing i am going to say i just took a, a full skein of the dmc and i made the cording um like using four strands of the six strand floss. But by cutting it into four, I could I could get two enough for two, but the hanger things are shorter than I ideally wanted. So going forward, I think I'm going to just cut that full skein into threes instead of fours. And then it'll take two full skeins to make one oh geez well whatever <laughs> you don't need you don't need to know my math <laughs> um well I, all I'm gonna say is because yeah like it it's gonna take more than that it's gonna I'll, I'll use three skeins <laughs> oh my and and I was actually pretty good in math when I was young but you wouldn't know it by the comments I'm just making. Um, whatever. You don't even care. Whatever. <laughs> so, uh, I hope you've noticed this guy in the background because I am just thrilled with him. This is Yes, Virginia. Both Leanna and I stitched this. This is mine. And I found this frame thrifting. It was more, it, it was more brown and copper. And so I dry brushed, you can kind of see here. Um, I dry brushed a lot more black and charcoal onto it, but I didn't want it like, so that none of the coloration showed, but I am so, happy to have this one done and I just like he fits in this frame just perfectly like I couldn't ask for like to me Christmas can be more ornate well anything can be more ornate but I, I just like an old-fashioned Santa in a fancy frame it just hit me like right 
much. Well, checked all my boxes, let's say that way. So I can't wait. I, oh, I found um, some of the press in, because <laughs> this is this pretty heavy frame, but I could nail in this um, sawtooth hanger. So it goes right into the frame, like you just nail it there. And I'm like, I, when I think of like, how much you pay to have something framed. And I don't think I paid that much for the frame itself. I bought it a while ago and it was in my basement. And I, as soon as I was stitching Yes Virginia, I had my fingers crossed that it would fit. But I just wanted to show you the, the charts I do have out up for the little ornaments. That was 2012. You can see that little thing says doll and drum, but I, I don't know. Is it supposed to be like a kid's letter? Maybe. And then this was this year's with the char chartreuse lights, which I didn't like. So the other thing I wanted to show you is I had started this one and I saw Vana posted on Instagram a finish. This is just my working copy. Um, early Christmas morning, Blackbird design. But she, someone stitched it on tiny, tiny, tiny count with like a silk conversion. And I'm like, oh my gosh, he's so adorable that small. But it made me think that I want to get mine out, get it finished. So I've got, you know, a good start, but then it does go um, if you want to do the drum finish, it does go around like there's some writing and stuff. Although usually that's not nearly as intensive as the top. So that works. Alrighty. So we're making good progress here. Um, bah, 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 bah. oh, stop the floss. So I'm hoping I didn't show these in what I recorded the other day. And I've been letting things pile up, but, um, oh. I came across like a huge ornament, which my window boxes, I fill with like parts of my old Christmas tree. I save for the base and then I don't need so many fresh greens to fill in the top. So I um, I have like various other big orn orange, um, various ornaments. So um, it's always nice to have extra one or two to throw in there. Just little buttons, they were on sale. A little, I mean, for 50 cents, like you, can't go wrong getting a frame like this because it's perfect for cross stitch. More buttons. Um, this isn't even paper mache, it's more like that. I don't know what, what that stuff is, but um, 50 cents. And then I do have a Christmas village. So here's Santa with an elf. And this is department 56 and it was like two bucks. I could not take that. Um, I don't know anything about these real wooden frames if anybody has info on this, but it was $2 and it's, um, let's see, I was gonna look it up, West Germany. And I'm not sure what this thing is for, so. Tell me, tell me. I can. I don't think I've had any that have had that before. And then this I thought would be cute to unfold and put in a tiered tray because it would be dimensional. And this is a pretty frame. do I have in here? Oh, a little Christmas tree candle. That was a dollar. And this basket, I thought it would be really cute with a little small in it. 
more buttons. I, I buy red buttons when I see them because I don't think I have that many in my stash. Oh. Uh oh. I think, I think Santa came unglued. Um, so this was another Department 56. He's not broken. He was glued before. I'm like, Santa used to be on there. I know he was. But, you know, you pay a lot more than that if you bought him new. And I don't think, it doesn't look like anything's broken on it. So, other than Santa. <laughs> But I can fix that. I have glue. And then um, also, I don't know why I bought this one. But for like 99 cents, um, there must have been something in it that, that uh, I looked at and thought, oh, I could use that. Although right now, looking at it, I'm not really sure what it would be. Um, yeah. Like, I... I don't know. I'll have to look. I'll have to look some more. But I always like these Christmas keepsakes books. Like, if it's for a dollar. I need a... A like vintage -y. Oh, these would be cute. This this is what I bought this one. For. Oops, I'll have to find the real chart. Um, the picture. I thought it'd be cute to stitch like for the prairie schooler tree. Um, if I ever get enough of them stitched for that. Um, like stitch some just reindeer. Where is the picture part? These are a lot of vintage face. Okay, here's this one. This I think is adorable. I wouldn't do it on the bright blue. But can you see it? And then this reindeer's cute too. That'd be cute just on a circle. I don't know that I would do all the, the log and stuff, but I love these vintage Santas. And, you know, like you don't see very many cut out like that, but that would be easy enough. Oh, look, <laughs> look at this snowman with, uh -oh. snowman with an umbrella. Really cute. So... Christmas Remembered. They're just like really sweet, old, nostalgic-y looking. Well, I don't like the baby with them, but, or is that supposed to be an angel? <laughs> oh, little one. Um, I would do the Santa just with the Santa, not with a baby grabbing its beard. I mean, I like babies, but I wouldn't necessarily want them. No, this is really sweet. The little angels. And I don't know. I've always wanted to find a nativity set. That's oh, this this would be a nice Santa. For what I need it for. I have a, an object I bought that I want to stitch it like a Santa head like that. Um, but going back to the nativity set, I, you know, so many of them are just cheesy. My dad, I think for the first Christmas they were married, gave my mom the Hummel one, which was like about this big. And I've always, always loved that one. Um, several in our family wanted it after my mom passed away and we were gonna rotate it. And then I'm like, uh, you know, I don't, I don't wanna be responsible for like if it got broken or something. So I opted out. But um, 
so, you know, that's this sort of thing I kind of was looking for. But like so many of them, baby Jesus looks like a three-year-old. <laughs> like if you look at them, proportionately, they don't, he doesn't look like a baby. And so that kind of bothers me. And, or like they're just too plasticky looking or they're too, um, I don't know, just cheesy looking. So I guess like, I always hoped, and, and two, I don't want to spend 200 bucks on it. I, I want a bargain. No, um, so like the more I'm thinking about this, cause I've, I've looked over the years and it's been on my list of things that I would like to acquire, but I'm thinking more now, uh, why not stitch something instead? Like, yeah, you probably don't need to have, you know, 20 characters built in, but I bet you there's some really pretty, pretty charts out there. So that might be my quest for next year. Um, the other thing I'm thinking of is I might record a separate little video um, with just my Christmas finishes as I put them up. I have a, a like a suitcasey like trunk thing that I'm always surprised every year when I open it up. <laughs> Because it's like, oh, I forgot I did that. Oh, I forgot I did that. So um, now that I've been stitching for a while, I've accumulated, you know, a number of things that it's just fun to unpack. I kid my friends, and I've probably mentioned this before, but when I unpack my Christmas stuff and I am hanging things on the tree, I'm like, oh, hello, old friend. <laughs> uh, and the other thing I... I tried to think about, like, one of my friends was talking about um, how sad it made her to, like, you know, hang ornaments that reminded her of people that she lost. And, and I said, oh, I always feel like it's comforting to know that, you know, how much they touched your life and how lucky you were to have had them in your life. So, um, you know, it's, it's, how it works. None of us are here forever. And, you know, we try to be a good influence on people while we're here. Okay. So, um, what else has been going on? Oh, um, I didn't, I just briefly touched on this, but I was lucky enough to go with my siblings to visit our great niece, my sister's granddaughter, um, she's going to school in Providence. And so we, um, there were like 11 of us along with my niece um, who actually went. Before it had always been, we called the sister's weekend and years ago, my mom would come with us too. And um, then this time when my brother heard that we were talking about it, he's like, can it be siblings weekend? And then we're like, oh, sure, you know, he's he's one, you know, there's one boy and five girls in my family. So he uh, has put up with a lot over the years, all those sisters. But um, so anyways, but then like uh, his daughter um, heard that we were going and she wanted to come and then my other niece from California, she and her husband wanted to come. And before you knew it, like it was this, you know, larger group, my daughter came and um, it was so much fun. But my sister renamed it Sibs and Nibs or Siblings and Nibblings. And I like, cause we're all about like finding good places to eat. And you know, that was, that was a lot of what the weekend was about, but, um, I thought nibblings like nibble nibble, but nibblings actually is a word for your nieces and nephews. And I'm like, I never heard of that. So like I was, I'm always thrilled to learn, you know, new words. So <laughs> it's kind of funny. So anyway, it's so like, and now I know what nibblings means and it's not nibble nibble, but um, yeah, we did, uh, a subgroup, we called ourselves Team Trolley, um, Ubered out to Newport one day and did a trolley tour and um, 
toured the breakers, which I had done like, now 30 some years ago. So that was fun to see again. And just, you know, had a little time to shop and we went to lunch somewhere. Um, that was recommended by an Instagram chef that I follow and that was delicious. And then we came back and did a tour of my niece's college. That night we went to um, an Italian restaurant, just, you know, like, just remind you of going back in time in Federal Hill area, which was cool and delicious. And then, uh, what do we do the next? Oh, we did a food, food tour, which was really a lot of fun, preceded by a walking tour conducted by my niece's husband. And um, the food tour was great, except for my niece is a vegetarian and they were supposed to like take that into consideration. And I think there was like one, one thing she could eat, which was, you know, we felt bad for her, but my sister who arranged it was able to get, you know, some of the, the fee taken off, but that was fun. Cause we, um, it was like, we, we, I'm, I'm getting the two or the, two things mixed up, but we drove around in this little van so we could cover more ground and yeah, it was really good. But then we made the mistake of having dinner reservations that night. And it was like, you know, nobody was even all that hungry. Well, some of them, some of them were, but um, yeah, but another Italian restaurant that was really, really good. So that was fun. And then, um, I don't know, we, we went to brunch the next day and then people started splitting off. Uh, four of us were there till Monday we were flying back, but um, you know, it was kind of bittersweet watching everyone split off and, uh, but um, we'll all be together on Christmas Eve at my daughter's house. So that'll be nice to catch up with everyone again and have everyone be there instead of just the, the group that went. So, um, beautiful city. Um, I really enjoyed Newport again. Uh, I, I think the time I was there, we only toured like two of the mansions. Um, so this was really nice to see more of the city and, you know, hear the history. And, and it just was a fun, fun trip. And, you know, like great to spend time with family. Um, I laugh at my brother. He, he, just, he has the personality of my dad, like just very, patient and very kind and like my oldest sister was kidding him about um finding because we had like a it was a nice breakfast at the hotel but she was there were no donuts and she's like something about you know getting donuts so the one day he looked up and walked I don't know it was like if it was a mile and got a selection of donuts and brought them back and I'm like you know, who else besides him would get up early like that? My dad would have done that, but he probably went to walk. <laughs> so we, we had a great time and um, yeah, it, it was fun. Nice to, to spend time with family. All right, so ramble, ramble. Um, I think I'm gonna pack it up because I have some other things to do, but I'm, I'm going to try to do the um, 12 Starts of Christmas. Did I talk about this? I can't remember. Um, 12 Starts of Christmas. So uh, um, sometime in December, there's so many things I want to start for the holidays. And I know if I start them, I will finish them. So I just need to start them. <laughs> That's all there is to it. So... Um, I think it'll be kind of fun to document my starts and then I'll show you um, the things that I've done for Christmas and just do it that way. Um, 
I'm getting really close to 8,000 subscribers and would love to do a giveaway. So um, if you are inspired to do so and you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love it if you could uh, subscribe and hit like if you like the video. And um, yeah, it, it will be fun to celebrate. Uh, another milestone. I just, I'm kind of blown away that people continue to watch and um, I'm, I'm just so appreciative of all the comments and things that people, you know, offer advice on. Um, it just, it, it's just a beautiful community and I am so thankful for all the real friendships I've made as well as virtual. Um, you know, it's, it's amazing how you get to know people in this community. So, um, Thanksgiving, I look at it as not the past, but a time to be thankful for for what we have in our lives. And, you know, along with that, like what we can be to others. I mean, that's, you know, that's what we can control. So, um, but yeah, I'll be back soon. And um, I hope you're all doing well. Bye. Oh, and I am, when I finish the stocking, I am going to do just a very short tutorial as I put it together. So that will be coming sometime in December when I finish it. And um, I will try to look for those colors and insert. But in the meantime, I hope people in the U.S. have a beautiful holiday. Be kind to others and continue to fill the world with love. Bye. Yesterday, <laughs> and, and those things I won't even show, but I started out the morning getting together with my walking friends. We took a nice long hike. And so that was at nine in the morning. And then we had to have coffee afterwards. But um, so I was um, en route to the store. I wanted to go grocery shopping by like, I don't know, 11, 11.30, somewhere in there. And I thought, I'll just get my groceries and then I'll go home. Well, I had along um, two pieces that I wanted to look for frames at a thrift store for. And so I went in and I don't know how long I stayed at the thrift store, but I think it must have been maybe a, well, in my mind, it was a crafter, um, getting rid of her maybe sewing room setup because it was like one of those big, um, like 12 spot for basket, um, bookcase and then two nine drawer cabinets and maybe a quarter of the price that they would be new and then really, you know, if not excellent, like very good plus condition. So I'm like, oh, those are going home with me. But the only problem is I have a uh, like a car. I thought they, the cabinets would fit sideways and go underneath the back, but they wouldn't do that. And the guy's looking at me like, you're not gonna get these in here. I mean, he was he was like lifting everything. And I'm like, okay, I put my seats as far forward to the front as I could and Got the first one in and, and he's like, do you want to come back for the second one? And I'm like, no, I think I can get it in. So he brought it out and it fit really easily. And I could even slide my seat back into normal position. I didn't have to, you know, drive straight up with my nose against the window. I've already had to do that. It's not pleasant. I keep praying, like, don't get in an accident and you'd like go through the windshield for sure. But anyway, so then um, I had, I wanted, I needed some stuff from uh, Hobby Lobby. So I ran into there and I had taken along. So I found one frame at the thrift store that was just perfect other than it's too big. So 
I'm going to try resizing that with the help of my hubby. And then, so I still had one piece and I found like it, it was the Mighty Oak piece and um, there was a frame that, you know, could have worked. If I had it in my basement, I might have used it. But then I saw the woman who usually is not there on Mondays and I'm like, oh, she's, she's the one who does a good job. <laughs> so she helped me pick out a frame and so I left my my uh, stitch piece and um, can't wait to get it back. So, um, and most of the other things I've been doing myself. So like, I, I feel like I haven't paid, you know, extraordinary amount for framing and I'm starting to pin more than lace now. And I'm like, I really kind of like it. I can see why people pin. So, um, We'll see how that goes. I, I always thought I had more control of lacing, but I'm starting to see that maybe pinning is the way to go. I had to go to the dentist today and was actually dressed in real clothes for a change. I thought it would be a perfect time to pop on a video and show you what I bought the other day while I had a shopping excursion. So I'll show you the less exciting stuff to begin with. <laughs> but just some, some Christmassy color wools to use for wool applique, which I really want to get back to. And the final one is kind of hard to see, but a lot of variation. And then I had the pleasure of going. It's, I guess we've done it now two years, so it's a tradition <laughs> with uh, my friend Anne, who actually started as a friend of Leanne's. And the first time I went to Country Sampler, it was Leanne and Anne and I. So um, lots of memories tied to that. And, um, Last year, Ann and I went to Country Sampler together, and so we wanted to get in on the Christmas open house without actually attending. Uh, it, it's a small store, and so we weren't sure how it would be like even trying to look and navigate the aisles with so many people in there. So we opted for later in the week. But anyways, um, I'm going to sh show you what I bought. So should we call it Splish Splash? I've acquired Stash. <laughs> Hope you like that one. But they always do such a nice job of tying up your package and receive this cute little um, tea towel from them. As a thank you gift, I guess, because we got there soon enough. Merry Christmas. Isn't that adorable? I can't wait. Oh, it's a little horse. I thought it was a deer. <laughs> Gotta know my animals. Um, and the house is all the cross stitch. So just really, really cute. So thank you, Country Sampler. So let's see what's inside. I haven't, I, I was waiting. Usually I get home and I like tear into things, but I'm like a couple days has passed now and I thought, well, I'll just be very surprised as you guys. So this is Christmas in My Heart by Samplers Not Forgotten. When I saw it stitched up on the wall, and I'm sorry for the glare. How about there? How about there? Back here. Um, but beautiful colors. It's on baked clay. And this one, it, it was just, it was too pretty not to take home with me. And you know, there's a lot of open space on this one, so I don't think it would be too awful to stitch. 
it's just, I, I really, I love everything about it. And then I also, this, this chart I had been looking at you now for a couple of years now. Stacy Nash Primitives, Mary Mary Pinky. And I just went ahead and bought the kit. So this, this, um, it just, it was really cute how they had it done. And there's, um, silk ribbon for ruching. And I think maybe I will even start that soon. Oh, it's like all Christmas. <laughs> uh, this chart, Joyeux Noel Artful Offerings. They had it done on a really kind of old and crusty looking piece of linen. And it just, it was so beautiful. So simple, but really, really beautiful. And then this was the other one, JBW Designs Over the Fields We Go. They also had this one stitched. And when it came out, I knew right away that I wanted to stitch it, but when I saw how Country Sampler had it finished, which I'll put some pictures at the end, I knew I had to. It had to go home with me. And then um, just some home, home good stuff. They had this pretty pear candle, and they had it sitting in a little black ermy paper mache container that I had well a taller size but I had bought it this spring when I was there and so I'm like well I already have the vessel to put it in so I'll just pick that up and then I got um some finishing fabrics I needed things for my prairie schoolers and I couldn't decide I I'm Gonna do them just as little, you know, over a little mat board, not even a pillow. And so the fabric's not even gonna show, but I couldn't decide between these three pieces, so I got little chunks of both, or three, trio. Um, I might use all of them and I might not. I'll just see how it goes. But, since it's not going to show, I thought they coordinated nicely and, um, yeah. And then this is, and maybe I'll even <laughs> have it done and have shown it as an FO, I don't know. But um, this is going to be used for the little drum for the snowman stitch I'm working on, Blackbird. And then this is the fabric that I'm going to use to finish my very last wordplay just as I finish it as a little quilt and then you can never go wrong with lady dot creates the little pom-pom trim and um one time I did cut this off like from the pom-poms and I used the little zigzaggy trim I don't know if you can see that as um, just like a finish on some little pillows. So I went with that. And then I have bought this, this ribbon before. It looks really cute, ruched. And I bought what they had of the tiny, oh, this is all a big tangle. <laughs> I told her, don't worry about it, but I should have been more careful with how I took it out. So just baby rick rack. And then this, um, it's a silk ribbon. I just thought, oh, on something vintage-y, it would be really, really pretty as a trim. And of course, you know, when you see things that you know will make good finishing things, I brought, bought some of this. It's like a, kind of like a grogany rate weight. Great. Let's start over. Grow, well, this isn't a real word. Grow grainy. Oh, who's doing that? Um, okay. 
a throw grainy weight ribbon. There, finally got it. But just, you know, could be Christmassy, could be not. And then to finish it off, and here is Comfort Country Samplers info. They've got, you know, an online site and the whole time we were there, just tons of orders coming in on the phone. The phone was ringing nonstop. So I got a couple flosses that I needed to get something else up. And then some Weeks ones as well. And Forest Glade, I just bought because it's, this is me. This is my green color. I love it. So, any bets on how many of these things I'm going to start in 2022? Hmm? Uh, maybe a couple of them. <laughs> I am, have been working on, and I probably showed this already, so I guess I won't talk about it. So, um... Let's just go with, hope you enjoyed what I brought home and splish splash. Gotta love a Stacy Nash. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> All right, let's try it again. Splish splash. Gotta love a Stacy. Splish. Splish Splash. Gotta love a Stacy Nash. <laughs> oh man, I killed myself. <laughs> okay, back to the regular ending.